You see that? So she's lying, right? You and me. She's saying anything. Right? Right? Let's go to the book of Revelation. Let's 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 read something concerning that. Right? Watch this. No man, if you're 50, you can still be 50. Okay, there's nothing we can do about it. You want to be wicked, you're always going to be wicked. Okay? Let's read it right here. Okay? This is the book of Revelation chapter 22 and verses 11. Actually, let me read. Let me see. 22, 11. This is the book of Revelation chapter 22 and verses 11. He said, He that is unjust, so if you're wicked, you a liar whatsoever. Okay? He that is unjust, let him be still. Let him be or just still, you see, okay, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still, okay, so I don't know the point she's making, say God love everything, everybody, everything, all things, or whatsoever, all this, let's listen to her weakness. Right, let's listen to her weakness. Oh, for his glorious kingdom, mm -hmm. we are God is building us up. You see, God, bear with me, this is our thing, right? I'm going to cut it out soon. He said, God is building us up. Who, who, is, who is the God is, is building up? Let's show you, okay? We'll show you who is God building up, <laughs> okay? In Hebrew. He said, he say, God is building us up. Let's see who is God building up. Let's see. Okay, let's go right here. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, and verses 1. This is the exhortation to seek the most. He said, gather yourself together. Yeah. Gather together, O nation of Zion. Only one nation. The Israel, the so-called black Satino and Native Indian. That's same point, Black period. We can't argue over anything. Don't tell me about the New Testament. John Paul said it. No, man. Paul is talking to the same people. He said, before the decree, the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. The meek of the earth are the Israelites. Okay? Which have wrought his judgment. So, judgment, seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be, ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. So, is he everybody? Let's go right here. Let's see if he's everybody. Let's see if he's everybody. Okay? Let's go right here. Because, you know, you got to understand one thing. So this is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered to our pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of Yahweh the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. Right? Let's go to James. Let's go to James 1 and 1. This is the Israelite. The Moses waking up the Israelites. That's where you see a lot of Hebrew Israelite camps on the highway, on the byway, on the YouTube. Oh, that's where you're seeing them. James 1 and 1. James, a servant of Yahweh and of the law, Yahweh Shai, to the 12 tribes. You see, it's the 12 tribe, buddy. Which tribe do you belong to, Raji? Raji, uh, prophetess Raji. Which tribe do you belong to? Which tribe are you speaking for? Okay, which nation are you standing for? Are you prophesying? Against the nation, are you prophesying to the, to the twelve of Israel? What are you doing? Oh, he said, He said, James, the servant of Yahweh and of the Lord Yahweh shall to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting, my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptation. Okay, so keep in mind what you're talking about. Let's see, let's go in the book of Revelation. Okay, this is the problem. This is where this is the one the Moses is waking us up right now. The Moses is the one waking us up right now. And that's where they're scared. They're scared, super scared. Right? Okay? He said, this is the vision, right? Where we were, the number of the Israelites. Let's read it. Right? We're going to read it. So, this is 7. And we're going to read verses from verses 4. He said, and I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribe of the children of Israel. You see? Of the children of Israel. It's not everybody. Okay? It's not everybody. It's not like the whole world. That da, 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 thing. Man, stop lying. Okay? Now, the other nation, they'll come in the kingdom. They'll be in the kingdom. But what are they going to be? What are they going to do? They'll be servant, handmaid. They'll be nurses. They'll take care of our children. They'll be under us. 
They will rule over the so-called blacks, Latino, and Native Indian. That game is over. They are not going to rule over the so-called blacks, Latino, and Native Indian. No more, no more, no more. Point blank, period. Okay? The majority of them, they are going to captivity for thousands of years. They will be in captivity for thousands of years. And after the thousand years, Satan will be released again. And there will be the last war where they are going to try to attack again Jerusalem. And then... The most will destroy some of them and some will be preserved to serve in the kingdom forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so keep in mind. Let's listen to that. Two, it says, since therefore children share in flesh and blood, mm -hmm. he himself, he means Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. he himself likewise partook of the same things mm -hmm. that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is the devil. And deliver all those through death. Not the devil, okay? Anybody can be a devil, okay? Satan, okay? Okay? And who's doing that? Yahweh Shah Mashiach. He did that when he died and he resurrected. Because he went down, I mean, he went and brought those souls, you know, that were righteous. He, 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 he preached unto them. He preached righteousness and rebuked the wicked soul. Okay? So keep in mind. Okay, she's mixing peril right here. She's talking about some, some craziness right here. Okay, let's continue. Enslaved by the fear of death. Mm -hmm. By the fear of death. Jesus now, why are we being scared of death? The reason why we're scared of death, brothers and sisters, is because we sin. It's sin that makes us be scared of death. Because if you don't sin, you don't even worry about death. You know one day we're going to die. We're going to die. Now, when you're doing weakness, you're scared all the time. When you're in the midst of sin, yeah, you 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 concerned. You see, you concern, you scared because you're living in the midst of sin. Okay, keep in mind. So you don't want to sin. Hey, guess what? We're gonna die. Righteous or wicked, we all gonna die. Okay, because since our father and our foremother, Adam and Eve, they sin against the most high, death came through them. But Christ conquered death already. So we can also Conquer death through Christ if we walk according to Christ. If we walk according to Christ. If you want to read about that, I suggest you go in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Please read 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Paul went into detail in all those things. I'll touch on that on another topic another day. Right? So, we're scared of death. Why? Because we live in a midst of sin. We're eating pork. We're breaking the Shabbat. We're doing all type of filthy things. That's why we're scared of death. Right? the death so death cannot have effect on us 118 revelation says Jesus holds the keys of his you see 118 revelation <laughs> let's go it's a revelation 118 so it's a 118 revelation you know this hidden sometime you gotta be patient to listen to them okay okay you gotta be patient now this message, right, was given to the Israelites that was scattered throughout this region, in this seven region, right? The Jews were living in those areas. So let's read Revelation 1, 18. Let's read from 17. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his, his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. So, Yahweh Shammah, he is the first that was created before the Moses had created anything. Yahweh Shammah was the number one, the begotten son. Number one. Before he created the angel, all this. Listen, number one. That's why he said, I am the first and the last. So he's the first, right? And the last among all the prophets to come. Okay? The first and the last. There is no other prophet after Yahweh Shammah. Point blank, period. Okay? So that proves you that Muhammad cannot be a prophet. Okay? He's a prophet of a different doctrine. Okay, doctrine of devils. That's fine. Okay. He said, Fear not. I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth. Yahweh Shai. He never sinned. But he was sacrificed for the nation of Israel. Not for these people. Not for her. No. Okay. Sacrificed for the sin of the so called black Satyrian nation that we will repent and return unto the Most High. He said, I am he that liveth. He was dead. Right? And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. 
and have the keys of hell and of death. You see that? So who has that? Amashia? Right? Hell. For your saint, for your believer, for your child of God, for Trump, for America. You see, he said for Trump. Okay, you see that? He said for Trump. You see the weakness? That's the thing that pissed me off. He said for Trump. He didn't mention the so-called blacks. He didn't mention for Latino, none like that. He said for the world. And by that's confusing. When she's saving the world, she's not referring to the so-called blacks. She's mainly referring to who? Edomite. Okay, mainly Edom and her race, right? So let's go to the book of Hebrew. Maybe Esau will be saved. Maybe, okay, let's see. Maybe Esau will be saved. I'll say, I won't even go to, I won't go to Ezekiel, uh, Psalm, Jeremiah. Listen, I won't go to that. I'll go, I'll stay in the, uh, like, the New Testament because of Christian, okay? Let's go over there, okay? Let's go in the book of Hebrew, <laughs> Right? We will read it. We will show you. Okay? Let's keep in mind. She said, for the whole world, for America. Right? Again. Right? So she trying to save Esau. Mainly, is Esau. Esau is the problem right here. Everybody trying to save Esau. They want to save the slave master. Let's see. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 16. He said, Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, so as that nation, as the fourth beast, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright just for food, right? And that's what they do. They do everything because of their belly. Esau eat them. That's what they do, right? For ye know how that afterward, when he will have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. Why? The Mosai reject him. The Mosai reject him. Why? To tell you. For he found no place of repentance. Esau never want to repent. So how can you save Esau? If there is no place for Esau to repent. If Esau cannot repent, now a brother, a so-called Latino, Native Indian, or African American, they can repent if they stop sinning and they return to the Most High. Esau cannot repent. Let me read it to you. You think he's not talking about just the father Esau? No, he's talking about the whole nation. Let's see. He said, For ye know how the afterward, right, when he will have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though. He saw it carefully with tears. Though they cry, they go crushing as a lion. They make as if like they're down with it. Oh, they, no, don't believe it. It's a lie. They can't be saved. Okay? They cannot be saved. Let's continue playing this thing. Okay? Let's continue playing it. Let's see what she got to say. Okay? America is the bread of Christ. Now, that's a lie. America is not the bread of Christ. Where? So how come they're pushing for homosexuality? Why they're shutting down the Hebrew Israeli uh, uh, YouTube channel? Okay? If America is the bread of Jesus Christ, okay, why are you taking so much of our people into the jail? Why are you just jailing the so-called black people? Why are you taking black baby from the father and bringing it to Edom and giving it to other heathen, other nation? Why? If America is the bread of Jesus Christ, okay, how come we don't rule America? Okay, how come the so-called blacks, Latino and Native Indian, we are not ruling America? Okay, so you tell me, how are we being shot down? We've been shot down on the street, on the highway, on the byway. Really? And America is the... I'll tell you what is America into Jesus Christ. Let's read it. Let's go in the book of Revelation. Let's go again in the book of Revelation. Right? Let's go in the book of Revelation. Okay, let's go over there. Let's go in the book of Revelation. What is America in the hand of the Mosai? Let's see. We'll go back in the book of Revelation, right? Let's read it. We'll read it. We'll, we'll, we'll show you, okay? America is literally is a golden cup in the hand of the Mosai, okay? America is the golden cup in the hand of the Mosai, okay? It's in the hand of the Mosai, okay? Let's see, let, 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 let's show you, okay? It's in the head of the Mosai, okay? Let's show you. This is, this is, this is America, okay? Let's read it, okay? Because you say it's the bread, right? Oh, hey, it be the fire, okay? Okay, so keep in mind. So this is the book of Revelation, right? 
Revelation chapter 18, and we're going to read verses 6. It says, Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her work. Okay? So keep in mind, double unto her according to her works. Okay? In the cup of which she have filled to her double. It have filled, filled to her double. How much? She had glorified herself and lived deliciously. Okay? So much torment and sorrow give her. So, America in the hand of the Mosa is not, listen, it's destruction in the hand of the Mosa. Okay? It's a, so much torment. You know, is torment something good? So many be tormented by fire. Is that, does it sound like good? Maybe in Christianity it sounds good. But to me it doesn't sound good. Fire burn, destroy thing. Okay? It say, and sorrow give her. For she say in her heart, America. That's America. It's not Hamara or Kamala Hamaris or Harris Kamala. I don't. He say for she saying yeah, I sit a queen. So America said they sit as a queen, right? America sit as a queen. They rule over everybody. Okay. She said she sit as a queen, and I'm no widow, and shall see no sorrow. So America I always believe that thing. They won't see no sorrow because they got nine one one. They got the FBI. They got satellite set up in heaven. All these things. They got all type of thing. They got the military. They got navy. They got uh, uh, you you name it. They got all type of thing, right? They got intelligence. They got the CIA. The FBI. They got a SWAT team. All these things. They got a nine one one. They got all type of weakness, and that thing. Those things gonna save them. Watch. Therefore, shall her plagues come in one day. So, America is the destruction in Jesus Christ. He will destroy them. Okay? Therefore, shall her plagues come in one day. Death. So, hey, America will be death. There will be death in America. He said, in one day, death and mourning and famine is coming to America. Hey, it is what it is. So, listen, America is not the bread of Jesus Christ. No, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> He said, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. Okay, it's in the Bible. So, prophetess Raji, listen, it's not going to go down like that. You're lying. You're lying. Okay? And I want your people that watch you to see and understand. So, brother and sister, share it. Share it, brother. Share this, this, this life. Share it on your group. Share it. So, those that follow this, this, this liar right here, they can understand and repent. So, we can, we can help them save their soul. So we can help them save their soul. Okay? Shalom, 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 okoye, donal. Right? So we can help them save their soul. So share it, spread it on all your page. All your, your Facebook group, to share it, brother. Share it. Because I'm a post on my YouTube too, as well. He said, therefore, show her plague. So the plague is of America. So America is not the bread of Jesus Christ. That's a lie. That's a lie. Okay? Therefore, show her plagues come in one day. And so the breath or the bread of Jesus Christ is Jerusalem, is Zion, the twelfth of Israel. That's the whole game. Listen, buddy, what are you talking about? He said, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. Who? America. What are you gonna do, buddy? What are you gonna do? What are you talking about? What are you lying when you're deceiving the people, man? You know, enough of that lie, that nonsense, garbage. And for strong is the lawyer, how who judges her. Okay, so who's judging America? It's the most high, man. Because there's no man that can do anything to America. Man, they can't do it. The most only can do it. The most will move the spirit upon the Iranian. Whether it be North Korea, whether it be uh, uh, Venezuela, whether it be Russia, you know, whether it be France, Germany. Listen, the Mosai, he's going to move the spirit upon them and they're going to fulfill the work of the Mosai. Let's re watch this. This is America. He said, Babylon is falling. You know, Revelation 18 and 1. And after this thing, I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is falling, is falling, it's become the habitation of devil. America is a habitation of devil, okay? So America is not the bread of Jesus Christ. What are you talking about? America is the habitation of devils. America is the whole of every foul spirit. Foul spirit, you mean wicked spirit. Sinner, the top sinner, you're looking for major sinner, you got to come to America. Okay, they're pushing for all type of weakness and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So America, the United States of America, is the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. How about that? 
We are talking about talking about G that America is 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 the prayer of 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 Jesus. What are you talking about? Stop lying. Listen, 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 brothers and sisters. Listen to the witch, the liar, man. They lie all the time. This is Christianity for you, okay? You know, America this is, is the bride of Christ. You see that? People of God's side. We already proved it. That's a lie, okay? Okay, America is the cage of every unclean and hateful people, hateful men or women. America, understand that? The United States of America is the habitation of devils. You got a lot of devils, okay? It's not only one devil. You got millions of devils living in America, okay? You see them in suit and tie every day. You see them. Those are your congressman, you know, your leader, your bosses, your manager, your supervisor, you name it. Devils, because they don't do anything the most I say. How can America be the bread and you oppressing the so-called blacks, Latino, and native Indian? How can America be the bread? How? You explain it. Prove it. Prove it. And you oppressing the so-called Negro, the so-called Latino, you oppressing them. You come here from India, then you get a job. One day after, you, you, you IT guy, you making money, you buy a brand new car, all this thing you do. Come on, man. What are you talking about? Okay? Listen to weakness. This is a weakness, man. That's Christianity, man. Gates of hell shall not prevail against her. Her soul cannot be uh -huh. invaded by the spirit of hell or hates. He said death cannot prevent against America. Really? <laughs> she said death cannot prevent against America. But people die every day in America, right? Okay? People die. As we're speaking right now, people die. What is she talking about? Right? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Let me read it. Because she said, death cannot prevent against America. Let me read it again. Death for sure, her play. Her is, is the land America. Her. The land is considered a woman. Death for sure, her plagues come in one day. One day. Death. So what are you talking about? Why are you lying, buddy? Okay? Why are you lying? Why are you deceiving the people? Okay? Why are you deceiving the people? He said, Death for sure, her plagues coming one day. Death. So she said, she said, death cannot prevent against America. What are you talking about? And mourning, okay? Mourning, okay? And famine. And she shall be utterly burned. It's even beyond death. She'll be utterly burned. America will be burned. So what are you preaching, man? With your Jezebel spirit? What are you talking about, buddy? Because Jesus mm -hmm. conquered the hell. Okay. What happened till the time, from the time of Moses to the time of Christ? What happened before? Romans 5 says, the law, the sin was there, but the sin was not counted until the law came. When Moses came, the law came. From that, all the servants of God who died and went to be with God, they were captivated under the hates. Look, she can't prove it. Let's go right here. We'll prove it quick, all right? Let's prove it, okay? We'll prove it. So we understand, we know that. Those that were righteous, the prophet that died, you know, before Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know, those that were righteous, right? They all got resurrected. All right? Through who? Christ. Right? Let's prove it. Let's go in the book of Matthew. Okay. We'll go to Matthew to prove it. Okay. Let's go in the book of Matthew quick. Right? Let's go to Matthew. We will prove it from the book of Matthew. Go Matthew give it detail. Go, you know, that's why it's good that you read a little bit here, a little bit there. That you can understand it. Go Matthew went deep into that. Matthew, you know, the apostle Matthew, he broke it down. But let's go and read his account, right, of whatsoever happened. So we're going to go okay, right here, right, in the book of Matthew, chapter 27, right? Matthew 27, okay? Matthew 27, and we're going to read from verse 51 through uh, 53, okay? 51, Matthew 27, 51 through 53. Let's read. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. So the, it was cut into two, right? That's the most I did that, okay? And the earth did quake. So there was a big earthquake when Yahweh Shia Mashiach, he died. And the day he resurrected too, there was an earthquake too. So keep in mind. It said, and the graves were opened and many bodies of the saints, so it was not a sinner, the saints, the righteous brother and sister that died for the word of the Mosai, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Moses, etc. The list goes on and on and on, right? Those that died before Yahweh Shamashi, they were all risen from dead. Okay? Guess what? Let's read it. And the grave were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose. Because, guess what? Why did he say slept? Moses slept. 
Moses didn't die as a sinner died. When you're righteous, you keep the law, the commandment of the Moses. You don't die. You rest. You rest. Okay? You rest. Right? That's what the Moses say. You rest. Okay? Let's prove it. We're going to prove it right here quick. I didn't plan for that. Let's go in the book of Deuteronomy. Let's go to Deuteronomy quick to prove it. Because the righteous, they don't die. Okay? They rest in the law. Until the day that war, that the Moses is going to bring them back again. Okay? Okay? They sleep. They don't die. Okay? Let's read it. And we're going to read it. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verse 16. So I Deuteronomy. So the Moses was telling Moses that he's going to rest. He's going to, you know, uh, rest. He's going to sleep with his forefather. Let's read it. Deuteronomy 31 and 16. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers. You see that? So Moses didn't die as a sinner died. Like you're wicked and you die in the midst of your weakness. You die. That's, you know, you gone. Point blank, period. Now, the righteous, they do not die. They rest. They sleep. Because they'll be given a new life again. They'll be given a new life. They'll be given a new life. Understand that. Okay? He said, Thou shalt sleep with thy fathers. And these people, the so-called black Latino, Native Indian, Nigerian, Togolese, Beninese, Ghanaian, Ivory Coast, Senegalese. He said, we're going to do what? We rise up and go in hurry after the gods of the stranger of the land. We start going after Christianity and Islam. You know, voodoo, brujeria, witchcraft, all type of thing, idolatry, all type of weakness, right? Where did they go to be among them? And I will forsake, uh, will forsake me. So we forsook the Mosai by becoming Christian and by following people like this, right? Following life. We follow things like this. This type of weakness, right? Weakness like this, right? Exposing her body all the time. You can see tie, garment, or hair, all, all this weakness. Talking about she's a prophetess, right? He said, and break my covenant. We broke the covenant of the Mosai because we did not keep the law as the Mosai delivered unto us through our forefather Moses. And break my covenant which I have made with them. So, we understand that the saints, the righteous, Peter, Peter did not die. Peter rest. Paul did not die. Paul rest. A brother in the truth, all the brothers, the Hebrew Israelites, teaching the word of the Mosai, learning, studying, teaching, you know, doing all type of work for the Mosai, they don't die. They rest. Because when Christ returns, they'll be given a new body, a new life, and they're going to live forever. Understand that. And understand that. So the day when Christ resurrected, came out, he said, and the grave was opened, Matthew 27 and 52, and the grave was opened, and many bodies of the saints, you see, which slept arose, the saints, the righteous, and came out of the grave after his resurrection. And this happened, this event happened after Christ resurrected. It was three days after, three days and three nights. So don't get it, three, three, say, three days and three nights. Okay, sundown to sundown, sundown to sundown, sundown to sundown. Okay? Three days and three nights. Three days and three nights. Okay? So these saints, they came out of the grave after his resurrection and went into the holy city. Where did they go? Jerusalem. Okay, you see that? They all woke up. Okay, he went into the holy city and appeared unto many. So they appeared unto many. Moses, okay, Moses, Moses appeared to them. They saw Moses and they depart again. You see that? Moses appeared, Aaron, Joshua, okay. You keep in mind, Samuel, they all arose. The righteous, you see, that's beautiful. Elijah, they all arose and they were seen of war. Let's read it. And he came out of the grave, the righteous. Those that kept the law, the commandment of the Most High. Ezekiel, Malachi, okay, Esdras, okay, the Maccabees, okay, and the list goes on and on. John the Baptist, okay, and came out of the grave after his resurrection, after the resurrection, okay, and went into the holy city, Jerusalem, okay, not America. Okay, the holy city of Jerusalem and appear unto many. They appear unto many. Okay, and that's the main reason. Another card to prove that, okay, you know, there is no such thing as reincarnation. Some people believe in it. Now, 
the only thing we will talk about reincarnation is that when Christ comes back, all those brothers that live before they'll live, they'll still live. Some people say that Adam, Jesus came as Adam, or Adam was Jesus. That's a lie. Adam is Adam, okay? Christ was already right there in heaven with his father. When who made Adam literally? We'll say it's Christ. Because everything was done by Christ. So who literally made Adam is Christ. So that's confusion for me to say it down here and say that, oh, Jesus Christ was Adam. Hey, brother, no, that's 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 not correct. That's not correct. Now, some brother believe in that. Hey, all present to the most side, but we don't believe that. Okay, so we don't believe that. So, David is different from Amashiach. Amashiach is not David. They may have the same spirit, same linear thing like that, but they're different people. The most side, his story is full with souls. The most is the one who created man and woman. So, he's not running of spirit or soul. The most side got it. His story is low, he's full with it. So, you know, we'll, we'll rank on it like you, you were in the world like 100 years ago and then you were born, you came out. No, that's not true. Okay? Okay? I'm ready to continue. Right? That was not true. So let's keep that in mind. Right? So, you know, some brother believe in that, hey, that's fine. You know, we don't have problem with that. But we don't believe that. Okay? The Mosai create different men with different spirit. Sometimes he give the same spirit to this and that, to this brother, this and that's how it goes. Okay, so let's keep in mind. Alright? Heads, when they say heads, that is, come, Harris. Pronunciation, Harris meaning. It doesn't matter then. You see, she's, she's a liar. She say, a, a head, it may hell. Let's say like that. Where, where, what is that in the Bible? Okay. What is that in the Bible? What, what, what is that in the Bible? Maybe she's named and it was by coin, but what, what is that in the Bible? There have been so many presidents, vice presidents, for so many pharaohs for the United Snake of America. Right? And all the sudden it's just on her. Daddy, no, come on, man. Stop lying, man. Okay? Okay? He's a Jewish child. He equally, equally needs the blood of Jesus as any sinner. So here, so Jesus went after his death he went to the hell and the heads and snatched the key from the devil and then he came out and set the captives free they are freed and they are saved even when we are right now the captive is referring to what she's trying to say right here because you notice there's there's some doctrine going on where uh, you got a lot of pastor you know they're praying they're prophesying telling type of bunch of lie to 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 like, you know, um, the other Pharaoh, you know, Donald Trump, that blah, 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 all this, because they receive money. You see what I'm saying? They don't prophesy to the 12 tribe of Israel. You see what I'm saying? That's how we know they're working for Satan. They're working for the belly. They're working for Caesar. You see what I'm saying? Because they're supposed to be preaching to the 12 tribe of Israel. The so-called Nigerian, the Beninese, the Togolese, the African-American, the Negro, the Latino, the so-called Mexican, according to your father. That's what is she supposed to be preaching. Not focusing and talking about Kamala Harris trying to save Donald Trump or all this. You can't save Donald Trump, okay? There's nothing you can do to save Donald Trump. Israel, they were made to be wicked, point blank, period. You can't change it. Romans 9.13, you can't change it. Israel was created to be evil, wicked, point blank, period. You can't make anything to change it. You can't change it. I don't care they give you a job, you got a job with them. The most I set them up to be wicked, okay? Same thing.